use the two are cross-referenced. As long as the, there's a cross-reference on the use and occupancy or something that checks to see if the EDUs are right. right. I'm not sure that our documentation is that uh, complete. So. I thought. Okay. All right. Under reports. Mr. Solicitor. There's a few, uh, I have a few requests for changing our ordinances. Carol, do you want to explain what an electronic copy is of the plans and why uh, Lower Frederick needs to make these changes? Well, um, <clears throat> right now your ordinance says when somebody brings in a subdivision or a land development or something to the zoning hearing board or something for a grading permit, they have to bring in X number of paper copies and X number of reports. Uh, what's happened at the county level, uh, Montgomery County Planning Commission is now requiring an electronic copy to be submitted. And all that means is that they make a PDF document, report, which you can read or I can read and you can read probably on our computers. Um, so the county is requiring electronic copies. Other municipalities that I've interacted with are also now requiring electronic copies, and I'm starting to share a lot of electronic copies with other engineers because, quite frankly, it's very convenient. You're not waiting for the mail. You're not exchanging big rolls of plans for small changes. Um, so it's, it's, it's saving on storage space. It's making it possible to take an image and send it out all, to all the planning commission members of one of the pages of the plan before they come to the meeting so they have a chance to see it in advance. So there's some really real advantages to having electronic copies of a plan. Uh, and so I had the pleasure of working with Mr. Keenan's office a little bit on this. Uh, and, and of course, they, they took it legally and, and, and put it all into codes um, on making sure that all the township submissions uh, in the ordinance would now say that you submit an electronic copy. So that'll cover the township, not only to make sure that you're going to be able to comply with Montgomery County Planning Commission submission requirements, but it'll make it easier to share information with township residents. There was talk at one point about trying to put plans up on the township website. This would, make, this would be a step towards making that feasible. So I, I, I think it's a really exciting, it, it's not a huge step, but it takes a bunch of ordinances to do it, unfortunately. Now, does that mean there will be no paper copies, or there no, will be no, fewer there paper, is paper copies? copies? Fewer paper fewer copies. Is. Okay. So I, I have to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm an old-time engineer. For the first review, I really want paper copies. And when I get out of the field, when it's under construction, I need paper copies. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't eliminate. And, and Mr. Keenan takes paper copies down to the courthouse to be recorded when the plans are final. So. It doesn't eliminate paper altogether, but it somewhat reduces the copies and makes this electronic copy readily available to be able to share and then to send it. Warren. Is an electronic copy a, um, a plan that was drawn up digitally, or is it, does a plan that was scanned uh, it could be qualify? Either. It could be either, yes. Yeah, it could be either. It could be one drawn in AutoCAD and converted to a PDF, or it could be something that they ran through a scanner and created. I just asked that because I was under the impression that uh, <coughs> engineers don't usually like to share the plans that they draw up electronically, that they're proprietary information. And so they're not sharing the AutoCAD file where you could go in and change the okay. design. They're sharing a PDF. It's just an image of the plan. That's it. So, so we are talking about an image. We're talking okay. about a, a flat image of the okay. plan as opposed to, it's, it's, not, gotcha. it's not an AutoCAD image where I could go in and change this line so that it goes over here. It's a, it's a PDF gotcha. image, just like, just like uh, the manager sends out all the <laughs> for, for yeah. prior to the meeting. So all <coughs> ordinance 218-4 uh, does is add an electronic copy requirement. And it, it really prepares uh, our township resident, or whoever it is, to filing a plan to be prepared to have that for the county, which, which it's also required and will never move through the <coughs> county unless then, they have it. And so. then, Tom, is the last item, the code 134-303, related to that? I'm sorry, where are you? I'm under solicitor's report. Mm -hmm. The last item under your report, is that related to 
the no. electronic submission? Two. The code 134 yes. is the stormwater ordinance, so that's a continuation no, no, the last of the previous one. line. So, and to require electronic submission. Part of the, part of the beforehand. But it also has the electronic submission requirement as part of it. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. About. So you're just updating that to require the electronic so, submission. So yeah. there's there's multiple ordinances that get updated to require the electronic They're all related to the same thing. thing. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that's really all okay. that's changing is the submission requirement. Okay, so everything under your report is related to the requirement to have the electronic submission. Well, I know that I have in front of me ordinance number 218-4. Except for that uh, one. Yeah, that <laughs> one uh, amends and requires the electronic plan submission requirement. I would ask if you vote on that one. So do you want us to vote on each of them separately or? Yes. Together. If, if you could do them separately, I yeah. just have this separately. respect of ordinances okay. that I they each need to be signed by all of you. So uh, if you could do that one first, please. All right, I move to approve ordinance 2018-4. Second. Any questions? Dan Mark, Kratz Road. Um, just from the county's perspective, do they have specific specific technical requirements related to the PDFs that are provided because there's a difference between uh, you can create a PDF from source or you can scan a PDF. A, a PDF created from source can be expanded and you can still see the information. If you scan a copy and try to expand it, it'll pixelate. So the county probably has some wording around the nature of the way in which you create the PDF, and we probably should have yeah, reference to that. It's no more than what's been being done in the last two years or better. Right. I mean, we get them, and you know, we, we copy the plans off of them and everything. Yeah. with the machine right there in the office. I mean, yeah. it's. No, no, they, we're not we're not reinventing the wheel here. No, no, I, I understand that. But yeah, what I'm what I'm getting at is like um, if you're if you're in a Word document, you can print a PDF and turn it into a PDF file. You maintain the complete fidelity of that document by doing it that way. If you take that document out, scan it, and turn that scan into a PDF, it's not as useful. What he's asking is you can edit it if it's if it's done on a a starter copy or whatever you want to term it and then as opposed to like just taking this scanning it and making it a PDF file. Yeah and right. probably the county has rules about how you created your PDF because most they, regulatory they didn't, they didn't have anything in there when they announced this change they didn't have anything specific okay. like that and um, almost to oversimplify things this has been happening between engineering firms for years right mm -hmm. and we're all kind of used to it and following similar standards yeah. so I, I, I think I, th I understand the problem you're I, referencing I think, what, I, I they're think we're generating okay. <laughs> the PDF, yeah, they're you know? probably generating the PDF from the, the tools AutoCAD. Yep. from the AutoCAD mm -hmm. which is perfectly fine yep. but you're making me nervous when you're saying they're scanning document uh, scanning it and turning it into PDF then it's when I, you try to look at that I think, online, I think it the point of that was delay. that if I'm if I'm doing a grading plan submission right, right. in my own backyard, yeah, and you I, and scan I, it, and yeah, I yeah. would draw it up on a smaller plan yeah. sheet and try to hand it to the code officer, right? But I've scaled it and it's different. I could I could scan that and it would right. be okay. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. So I just was curious whether the county had any. No. Specific requirements. Not, not that I saw in there. Okay. In their, in their announcement. They'll probably will at some. Good <laughs> Somebody Sorry. will mess it up and then they'll yeah. have to. Yeah. Right now, yeah. things are going with it. Okay, no problem. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. To have a motion and a second to have a Correct. Bob? Yeah, just a questionnaire for, I guess, the board and Tom. Um, this is to advertise, and I believe a few months ago we had brought up that uh, some of the ordinances needed to be revised. We were waiting for clarification, I guess, from Tom as to what those revisions were going to be. So, is it smart to wait until we have everything done, or are we going to pay for advertising twice? 
we have to advertise each one no matter what. And this is to advertise the ordinance. And so I'll it's not an amendment of the ordinance as we had brought up before, where there was things that either didn't apply to the MPC or things that, you know, that I'm going to get to that. Let us finish out through and it'll, it'll come up. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, can we vote? Please. Aye. 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 Okay. So now it's going to be advertised and it's going to be up for your approval the next time. I'd like to skip to ordinance, uh, proposed ordinance number 218-6. Uh, it's absolutely similar. It adds an electronic copy of the drainage plan uh, to the uh, it's almost identical. It just adds a requirement to that aspect. Which Okay, I move to approve consideration to advertise ordinance 2018-6. Second. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Um, ordinance 2018-7 uh, adds it to the zoning code uh, that when you submit uh, before the zoning hearing board, the filing will include five printed copies and an electronic copy. All right. All a motion? Sorry, do we want that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a motion. Five or seven? This is five. five. For ordinance 218 dash seven. Dash seven. seven. Or that's five or seven. So five or seven? No, it is seven. 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 You don't have seven. I have seven. Is it one yeah, extra thing? Seven. Seven. I have lots of seven. <laughs> Thanks to Sherry. Um, does seven require a public hearing? It does. It requires a little more work, but uh, it accomplishes the same uh, thing to move us into electronic copies. Which the zoning officer and thinks would be beneficial also. Have a copy of that. Oh, you have a copy? You have a second? A second. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 You want to go back to five, Paul? I do. Five is different. Um, Well, I was zeroing in on whether there's any difference, and there is. <laughs> this is uh, more in line with uh, what Bob Burns was bringing up. Uh, there is a, uh, a difference between our code uh, for land development procedures and the municipality's planning code. And it has created some confusion among everyone, uh, particularly on the last development, which I still call the Ragusa development. It's gone through several more names. Uh, but uh, the developer did some preliminary work on the land that he owned. And our ordinance said, you can't do that uh, without having final approval. But the municipality's planning code says, you can do that. It's your land. Uh, it's not done in conformance with the eventual plan. You'll have to undo it, but you can do it. And so this makes that change to, the, to our code to bring it in conformance with the municipality's planning code. And there's a paragraph in the municipality's planning code that says, this is the law, and if any uh, ordinance in any township differs from this municipality's planning code, it's no good. Uh, it's not the law. The municipality's planning code is the law. And so I'm tried to uh, bring this paragraph up and change our ordinance to make it exactly uh, right with the municipality's planning code to allow that work to be done by the property owner, yeah, but that's it. All right. 
Make a motion for the ordinance 2018-5. All second. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 That's the end of my report. Thank you very much. So looking at the agenda, there are just a couple items under me. Uh, the Foy Park Dam is actually referencing a letter that was just received in the past few days from DEP. Uh, which I don't think made the packets because it's that recent. Um, and uh, the township has a permit for the DEP. Uh, they were required to obtain back in 2003 for the dam that exists by Foy Park. Uh, the township owns half of that because your property line for Foy Park is down in the North Creek. Uh, the letter that was received looks almost identical to the letter that the Township received five years ago that talks about trees on the breast of the dam, that talks about the dam portions of the dam being breached, and questions of uh, turbidity under a certain portion of the dam. Um, I actually go back and found where I reported on this to the Board of Supervisors in August of 2013. Same kind of letter. Uh, I said DEP inspects this Class C4 dam every five years. Lower Frederick Township owns the Foy Park property, and the deed line runs up the center of the creek, so you own half the dam. I spoke, this is from 2013, not recently, but I, at that time I spoke with Abdel Nassani, who wrote the letter, uh, and with Jack Crowter in Harrisburg, uh, who gave me the name and number uh, that was back when they were trying to remove all the dams. We took a look at that. They, they were pushing for dam removal back then. So I, I had asked about the ramifications if we ignore the letter. Uh, Abdel Masani was a little bit aggressive and told me that he can send Nettis to Harrisburg and escalate the complaint. Um, and uh, that would be escalated. The Pennsylvania Code talks about the EP undertaking removal and charging owners for the cost. Uh, but when I spoke with Jack, he was a little more practical and advised that they have more hazardous dams to track and this structure would not be really <coughs> looked at until they were required to move five years. Guess where we are. Uh, he did note, however, that inaction might expose the township to some liabilities if there's damage to personal property as a result of the dam condition. Uh, and I believe that back in 2013 it was reviewed with an insurance company to you know, really check your records on that. Um, long story short, uh, I would suggest if it's suitable for the board uh, that we can look at that dam. I'd be happy to go out there with the director of public works and check on the trees uh, that are noted. I believe that the breach in the dam, not having been out there in five years, but I believe the breach in the dam really is beyond the part that Lower Frederick owns. And I also have a recollection that the turbidity might be due to an existing pipe that goes under the dam. We could confirm that in our review as well and prepare a response letter to DEP and public suit. Do you ask to approve anything? Just for her to do the letter. Take care of it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, I just have a quick question. Uh, since I'm assuming Upper Salford owns the other portion no, of the, the mill. private uh, property. Oh, it's the other private property. The Clemmer's Mill? Mm -hmm. Or the old mill? Okay. Thank you. Wasn't, didn't I read in that letter too? They, he didn't like trees around there. Yeah, well, I think one back in 2003 we found. Uh, I haven't reviewed my records that thoroughly, but I have a memory of Tommy and I finding some trees that were growing right along the crest that the public works department took down. I don't think that was five years ago. I think that was more like ten years ago. At some point we were out there. We had to put sacrete in some of the holes, and you know I don't remember when. Yeah. Which inspection? Might have been a three, but yeah. I'm not certain about that. I, I, you know, I know back when the fire company owned it, I went down, I cut all the trees down yeah. along the current. Yeah. So, yes. so there, there's some in the dam that'll have to be cut. Because we were having so much trouble with the kids swinging out on the ropes, and we were liable. Yeah. So yeah. we just got together and we just said cut them all down. So we did. So, um, Next item that was on the list actually isn't mine, or isn't mine anymore. It's line painting. Back about five years ago, I drafted a, an annual contract, and, and I, I, the, the, in previous years, staff has just taken that contract and renewed it. 
So uh, that, that'll be in Tom's report. Um, but that's something that's under the $20,000 threshold for full advertising. So it would be three quarts of the township would obtain the request uh, if authorized by the board. And I'm sure Tom will cover that. The traffic calming committee survey is listed under me. Uh, at the last meeting of the traffic calming committee, uh, we reviewed a uh, sample of a survey document to go out to the residents that live in the town of the right across the street here. And uh, I believe uh, the latest draft of that was sent around the Board of Supervisors from the manager uh, and the traffic calming committee. Uh, but the chairman's here, he can speak for them if necessary, but I believe they were looking for an assurance that the document was acceptable to the board, and if it was uh, some sort of a allocation of funding to print and mail that document. Acceptable. I don't have a vote, but I thought it was really well written. Yeah. And, and I wish I could take the credit, but Crystal Gilchrist for that one. So can we thank Crystal? Is Crystal here? She's not here. Mom. Um, that's all thanks. Bob Burns, if we'll go right <laughs> Uh, just to add to the traffic calming, uh, we shared a draft with the Homeowners Association. They had their meeting last evening, and from what I understand, they would like the survey monkey taken out of it. Uh, they said a lot of their residents uh, in the past when they tried to do an electronic uh, survey uh, just ignored it and didn't do anything. So they would just like the uh, form filled out. Uh, they had talked about the form being returned back to them somehow. I had asked them no, to please have no. the forms sent no. to us. It has to come to the township. They are willing to pay whatever it's going to cost to put the four-page uh, proposal together and send out um, with their other mailing that they have going out here very shortly. So. Um, yeah, we don't I, have a cost yet. I believe we're looking somewhere. If, if the township has to do it, with postage and everything, we're going to probably be somewhere in the seven to eight hundred dollar range. If they go ahead and send it out with their mailing that they already have going out, because I guess they have a, a major meeting coming up at the end of September, so they wanted to send it out in their mailer with a self-addressed stamp envelope. And Joe Shinsky said that he would uh, gather all those when they came back. As I said, I did mention that. I would rather that envelope came here to the township, addressed to the uh, township uh, traffic calming committee. Um, since Joe's not here this evening, uh, I was expecting him. Uh, I, I can't really speak much further on it right this minute. Yeah, here, here's, here's the thing, um, Bob. This is coming officially from the township. So it has to come from the township, cost or no cost. It, it can't come from the, from the townhouse development. And it has to, because we have to have an, an assurance, and the only assurance we have that everything, we don't want anyone complaining saying, I didn't get it. If we send it out and they didn't get it, I, I doubt that will happen, but um, it, it has to come from us and it has to come back to us. Uh, Kevin that, had brought up at our know? meeting yeah. that we had sure. last yeah. uh, month about that, and yes. he was saying we could stuff them in with the sewer bills. Uh, that seems to be too much of, of a headache. I did ask the, the homeowners association if they can give us an Excel spreadsheet with all the addresses. Yeah. They will not to release that to the township. They said you already have take it. That to a printer. So if we're going to do it ourselves, it's going to be you know, painful for us to capture those 